Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about From a Secret Sorrow. This is uh, an excerpt uh, uh, of the, the, the story, A Secret Sorrow, uh, written by Karen van der Zee. Uh, and I'm going to be giving you guys my perspective on the short story uh, while I go through the summary. That allows me to kind of, you know, really give you guys my my ideas and and, and um, thoughts on specific parts of what happened, uh, what happens within the last few chapters uh, of this work. Um, so basically, uh, we meet a girl by the name of Faye. Uh, we learn, we're told that um, uh, she's had a horrible car accident. Um, she's had a horrible accident that um, pretty much she learned that she suffered an internal injury and that she will never have children, that she cannot physically have children. Uh, and because of this, she quits her job. She breaks up uh, with her significant other uh, by the name of Greg. Uh, and pretty much she moves back in, well, she moves to her, um, she moves in with her brother, uh, and she's just in a, in a bad place. Uh, because when you think about it, for, for, for hundreds of years, women in society, um, you know, it, it, you, you pretty much have to produce children. Um, for the, for the longest time ever uh, in society, um, it's been um, reiterated by many cultures uh, uh, that the woman's job was to take care of the home, have children, um, make babies, uh, and, and support the husband. Uh, now, that's not the case anymore, but you don't change hundreds of years of, of thinking uh, or maybe even like biological, uh, you, you know, there's, there's definitely a biological uh, purpose to reproduce. Um, and as a woman, Faye in the short story, she's feeling that burden that she wants to, to, to be married. She wants to have this, you know, the significant other. But at the same time, she feels like she is obligated uh, to have children and not just have children but to produce them herself uh, and because of the fact that she learns after the accident that she'll never have children she pretty much self-destructs and and, and and starts to push men away uh, you know she, she pretty much tries to uh, form a, a protective a, a protective shell around herself uh, to make sure that you know she doesn't get hurt to make sure that um, you know she, she doesn't fall into a relationship that that she knows is going to be bitter because she can't have children so she's entirely fixated on the having children part she doesn't think that a person could love her or be with her uh, without the 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 idea or the possibility of having kids. Um, so, you know, that was the case with Greg. Um, but what happens is within the last few chapters of A Secret Sorrow, she meets Kai and, and Kai is, you know, falls madly in love with her. Uh, they have a great relationship. And when things get heated up and marriage comes into the picture, uh, Faye, you know, she doesn't know what to do because... You know, she's been hiding this secret from Kai about her ability to have kids. Uh, and um, when Kai figures this out, you know, she thinks that it's over. She thinks that, you know, they cannot continue their relationship. Um, and so in her mind, she's just stuck on the, 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 the making babies part. Um, and Kai pretty much, you know, they have a huge fight. You know, she... She runs away from him. Kai finds her. Um, and in her mind, she pretty much couldn't fathom that a man could love her, that someone could love her, or that she could be married without having kids. And, and I mean, 
if we're going to be completely honest uh, with reality, uh, most of, a lot of the times, I, I would even say most of the times, uh, most of the time that is the case. There's there's some couples that is uh, the deal breaker. There are some people that if they learn that they can't have kids with you, um, they will break off the engagement. They will break off even in the 21st century uh, because I think, you know, you can adopt and that is certainly a possibility. Uh, but there's something about having your own biological kid. There's something about... Um, passing on your genetics. I think every human being at some point, you want to have kids because number one, you want to con continue the family line. Number two, it's just you, you want to, I mean, it's always going to be something that you think about. I think um, maybe you, you can, you can live with it. Maybe, uh, your, your love for somebody else can, can, can go over it. But at the same time, I think we all have this biological want to see, um, our biological children or to make biological children. You can adopt a bit and that is fulfilling that that does fill fill the need but at the same time i think for a lot of people even if you adopt even if you um you know have children through other means that biological thought of your own children you 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 might think about it you might think about well what if my kids look like me what if my kids I mean, are my traits going to be passed on? Are my thoughts, my my bloodline? I mean, for for all of human history, bloodline has always been so important when it comes to kings and queens, when it comes to nobility, when it comes to, I mean, to religion and everything. So keeping the bloodline is something that's reinforced through religion, through, through royalty, through... Uh, politics, uh, I mean, in several uh, political arenas around the world, I mean, you've seen the, the effect that bloodline has. Um, so it, it's an issue that I think that in this short story, I mean, Kai and Faye, they, they make up, they fix their relationship. Um, you know, Kai tells her, how much he loves her, how much he can't live without her, how much, you know, he, you know, having kids is important, but he tells her, he reinforces the idea to Faye that, you know, we'll adapt, adopt kids, and I know that you won't ever have children, but still, uh, we, we can, we can make this work, and they do make it work, because at the end, um, they adopt kids, they come from far, uh, and they have a happy family, uh, a happy family, and, and Faye and Kai are deeply in love and all that kind of jazz. But, you know, keep in mind that this is uh, um, a literary work. If we're a analyzing this towards, uh, from a, a, a reality perspective, uh, I think that you know, Faye and Kai are, are very rare. I think people are um, are obsessed, you know, at some points with having their own children. And, and for some people, again, it's a deal breaker uh, and it's ground for not getting married to somebody. It's grounds for uh, deserting for somebody because that's how society has um, dealed with that. Um, and, it, and it's and it's very dark, very shameful because again, this is one line is very powerful that Kai says within the short, well, not short story, but within this work is that you know he, he tells Faye that you're not a baby, you're not a factory, you know I don't love you because you're a factory and that you can produce kids, um, and I, and I do think he means that. I do think it works for him, uh, the family that they have, uh, but. You know, psychologically, I guess it's it's a lot to to take in because, I mean, when you think about 
the, the human body, um, you know, a, a lot of it is kind of like construct constructed to produce children. Um, male biology, female biology, our bodies just um, they're constructed to to carry on the line and if you um, cannot produce in that way it's it can be damaging for some people it can be very um, it can be a, a, a thing of regret a, a thing of shame a thing of you know that I'm not whole and and at the end of the work what we get here is that well the last chapter we get the idea that um, that Faye has reached a point in her life where she does believes that she's whole because of how Kai's treated her because of the success of their family uh, because of the fact that they were able to um, you know Kai was able to keep Faye not running away from him uh, and that their love endured, um, you know, you can say that, that, that she feels whole as a woman, but, um, and, and at the beginning of this excerpt, she did not feel whole because she felt like she was like a broken, uh, a broken toy. And it, I mean, you can't look at yourself that way because a human being is much more than just, uh, you know, a baby making factory. Uh, so Kai was, was, you know, Kai did something that's actually very extraordinary because for most men, that is a deal breaker. Uh, and, um, you know, s some men might try to, to overcome this or say that we can, you know, we can do something about this, we can adopt, but they'll probably have kids with somebody else behind their significant other's back. Um, and, and that is incredibly damaging. Um, so here we get a happy ending, but if we're looking at this through through a, 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 a reality perspective, it, it's not, this is not the ending that everybody gets. Um, I mean, the, this, the, the last few chapters of this episode say a lot about what love can overcome and, and you know if you truly deeply care for someone uh you know what you can do uh for caring for for someone um and then again um uh, it can go many ways because some people are totally happy and fine with not having children some people are obsessed with it uh, some people are totally fine with adopting kids um, ultimately it comes down to, um, what family means to you, uh, and what it will, what will it take for you to be whole? Um, there's also, I guess you can say that, I think acknowledgement is very important here. I think one thing that Kai does within this work, um, he acknowledges, um, uh, the fact that, okay, this is a problem. This is something that we're gonna have to deal with. Um, and and honestly, if he, in terms of reality, if you're in a situation like this, you have to acknowledge that you might have some regrets. Now, not everybody. Again, you don't have to agree with me one hundred percent. But for some people, I'm not talking in absolutes. Certainly, for some people. Um, not having their own biological children, uh, there could be space for regret. Uh, there could be s space for, you know, like, I, you know, thinking about, well, what would my children look like? Um, so, and, and if it's a thoughts like that that keep coming into your head when you're in a, in, in a relationship where, you know, you can't have kids with your significant other, you got to be very careful with that. You got to be in a sense, can I live with this person? Can I acknowledge that this person cannot have kids? Um, and I won't become resentful and, 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 and start to hate that person and ultimately end up in a relationship that I don't want to be in. Uh, you know, I think Faye and Kai didn't 
fall towards that problem. I think they, their love was real. And at the end of this work, this, this type of connection that they had, this type of interpersonal connection that they have, um, it's, you know, it, it's real and it lasts. And, uh, the story pretty much leaves you with with warm feelings of 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 a happy ending uh at the end of it but at the same time we do have to take into account that it's not always so um i mean so uh bright and and um it's not always this type of happy ending it can happen, but I think I think majority of people uh, would have some issues because I think humankind we 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 really desire uh, to see ourselves to see our 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 facial you know facial similarities between us and our kids um, because I mean again bloodline genetics we we kind of want to see those things pass from us to somebody else and to carry on the line. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's what I think about this, this work. Uh, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.